Time to go spelunking. <laughs> spelunking means to explore a cave. had heard that plunk sound before, right when Professor Wiseman lost her glasses. <laughs> her glasses fell in the water? <laughs> the glasses must have gotten carried away by the current. <laughs> oh, that salamander! <laughs> Find a way to get on the other side of this wall. Ah. Uh, it's a little small for me, George, and we need to stay together, remember? Ah. Huh? Ah. Hmm. Well, that's a clever idea. Better way. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll stay here. Tug on the rope when you find the glasses, and I'll pull you back to me. Uh -huh. and, and be a good little monkey. Uh -huh. was there when Professor Wiseman lost her glasses. Maybe he saw where they went. There was the bat, but no glasses. the rope so the man knew he found the glasses. But where was the rope? It's okay. <gasps> Just follow the stream back. <laughs> uh -huh. Can you follow the stream, George? Can you follow the stream, George? I know. Remember playing Marco Polo at the lake? Great. You say Marco, and I'll answer with Polo. Then follow the sound of my voice back to me. Of course. George could use his ears instead of his eyes to find his way. Kind of like bats do. solar system. He wondered what it was like on those other planets. Mostly he wondered if there were any little monkeys on them. We're gonna 
George was going to get a chance to look for monkeys in outer space. Ooh, ooh, hi, mama, hi, mama. line up in a row, but it's still helpful because we can see their order from the sun. We're right near Earth now, so which way do you want to go? Towards the sun, to Mercury and Venus, or away from the sun, towards the other planets? Hmm. If George was going to find space monkeys, he'd better look where the weather was sunny. <gasps> But Mercury is even closer to the sun. <laughs> Mercury was small. <laughs> but so were monkeys. So hot. I bet it's so hot because we're so close to the sun. Fortunately, Yoki's ship had great air conditioning. <laughs> Mercury was definitely too hot for monkeys. Venus is the second planet from the sun. I bet it's a lot cooler there. Venus didn't look so hot, just cloudy. Thanks for the invitation. I have always wanted to try ice fishing. Well, to get where the fish are, you have to drill a hole, George. Oh. 
<laughs> George doesn't believe that fish can live in the ice. See down there? The fish are in the water. Under the ice. <laughs> no, George. It takes an expert fisherman, <clears throat> like me, to catch them. They don't just jump up and say hello. Maybe they do jump up and say hello. It was George's old friends, Professors Einstein and Pizza. Hi, Hi, oh my, you look a lot like our pal George. Why, it is George. What brings you up here, fellas? We're here on an important mission, but we're having trouble with our sub. Someone spilled his juice box on the control panel. Someone drives like this. Whee! Whee! At any rate, it appears that we'll have to scrap the mission. Oh. Wait a minute, Einstein. George is here. <gasps> the the mini sub. George, how would you like to do some whale counting for us? <laughs> um, that sounds like yes to me. The, the mission, mission is saved. saved. Okay, George, in you go. You remember how to use all the controls? Mr. Quint? George, this time of year, several species of whales are swimming to their winter homes. We're trying to track them as they migrate. Your mission is to count the whales you see going by. Ah. <laughs> now, see the screen on your dashboard? Uh -huh. That shows the different kinds of whales you might encounter. Beluga whales are white, bowhead whales are dark, and narwhals have long tusks. Woo! <laughs> now, George, whales aren't fish. They come up to the surface of the water to breathe air. Some of them also swim really deep, so you'll have to look up and down. When you see one of these whales, just touch the picture on the screen that matches it, and the computer will count it. <laughs> okay, George. Here we go! Mr. Quint was right. There were a lot of fish down here. Ah. George knew what seals looked like, but he'd never seen one this close. <laughs> Walrus had never seen a flying mini sub before. Um, where's the camera, George? Uh. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> that seal has the camera. We have to get it back. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh 
back the way we came. Oh. There's no way to steer an ice flow. Ah. Wow. That's a humpback whale. Uh-oh. A snowstorm. <laughs> George, we're headed for land. <laughs> We've got to get out of this blizzard. There's a cave. Ah! <laughs> we'll need more protection than this. George, we'll stack ice and snow just like we're making an igloo. <laughs> All we can do now is wait out the storm. Research vessel Zebra to ice station Alpha. A brief blizzard may hit your area. You should stay in the outpost. Don't go out in the storm. Is anyone there? Almost there, George. Hey, the blizzard's over. <laughs> Let's climb this hill and find out exactly where we are. We can walk back on the new snow and ice. Wow, the chin strap penguins. We found them. George had the camera back, he could get the pictures Professor Wiseman needed. we didn't see them earlier this year. Amazing work. How did you find them? We'll do it the same way every time we come. Well, first, have a monkey drop the camera in the water. just like the pictures in George's book. Except now, it was right outside the window. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> George, get down. The rover is going to deploy. Huh? George didn't know what deploy meant. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and then he found out. <laughs> the rover drove away with George. No problem. Just use the remote control to bring it back. I, I can't find it. Oops, I, I think I left it sitting on the rover. My mistake. <laughs> George was on an out of control Mars rover. He had to stop it. <laughs> that sure looked like a remote control. Now George was in full control, except for being lost on Mars. Maybe he could find his way using the book. There were the two moons of Mars. That would help him find his way back to the ship, but it sure was cool. Ooh. He reached the Valles Marineris. It looked like the Grand Canyon, but much bigger than any canyon on Earth. Ah. He also found the Olympus Mons, the highest volcano in the solar system. Ooh. had a pretty nice view, too. <gasps> He'd found the rocket. <coughs> now all he had to do was drive there. <coughs> the rover was stuck. He had to give it a good push to get it going again. That was his mission. <laughs> Einstein's broccoli spinach gum was gumming up the works. He wanted to get to the ship and tell the man with the yellow hat, except the rover wouldn't go. Luckily, he remembered he was three times as strong in Mars' low gravity. George, are you okay? Huh? You were sleeping so peacefully. Did that sound wake you up? I blew a bubble and it popped. <laughs> Then George realized why he was dreaming about gum. <laughs> ah, gum in the main rover control panel. Did you stick gum in there every time I told you to stop chewing? See, I, I, I thought that one was the trash. <laughs> Oops. George, how did you figure that out? <laughs> ah. mm. Ooh. <laughs> so that's what was making all that noise. A bunch of beans. George wanted to show Professor Wiseman all the neat stuff he'd opened, in case she wanted it for her exhibit. <laughs> What's all this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you wanted to find surprising things inside other things, just like the geode. <laughs>
I must say you've got the makings of a true scientist. <sighs> you know, in planning out the new exhibit, we wanted to get some photos of the Geo Cave. We could use the help of a curious monkey like you. Hmm? Uh, well, you're the only monkey here. Yeah, of course, we'll have to ask your friend first, but would you like to come? So, you're going to get footage inside the cave? Where's the video equipment? Right here! Ooh, ah. It's our gyro-electromagnetic hydro-ocular propulsion prototype Earth Rover. Ah. Known as a jam hopper for short. Huh. That jetpack's a bit small. I wonder who's going to pilot it. Well, we do have someone in mind. Oh. <laughs> All right, we're ready for takeoff. Now you steer using these. And with that camera, we'll see everything you're seeing on this monitor. Just be careful inside there, George. <laughs> Initiating launch sequence in three, two, one, lift off! <laughs> Good luck in there, George. Exactly what we need for the museum's exhibit. Ah! A giant crack in the wall. George knew there must be something neat inside. Oh, there is something over there. Let's take a closer look. This is an amazing find. Well done, George. <laughs> and so, with the help of our gem hopper, and our skilled assistant, we were able to explore not only the geode cave, but a geode cave inside another geode cave. <laughs> George loved to visit the museum because he never knew what kind of adventure he'd find inside. Oh!